today I'm going to start making um, another fabric book and my theme is teddy bears. Okay, I've got this. I'll just start off with these little extra bits I've got here. I made this cute little um, journal pad. I printed this from Pinterest and put it on some card, pretty paper, and I put a journaling card on top. And this one is a, a picture of teddy bears having a picnic, and that's my theme. The teddy bears picnic song is on the back. And if you go down to the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. So that's going to be tucked into a pocket. I have another little um, scratch pad or, or journaling pad, again with teddy bears and some beaded drops. Okay. First let me show you some teddy bear images I got from Pinterest. Let me turn this upside down to me so you can see it. There we go. I printed these out on, on fabric using um, freezer paper. So, but I don't know if I'm going to use them all. Some I'm going to use, I'm going to make into pockets. I have um, a picture and a piece of backing fabric. So that's going to be turned into a pocket and um, stitched onto the page. same with that one. It's going to be a pocket also. And that one. So far I've got three as pockets but I could have more, I could have less. It depends on how things go. Okay, first up. This is my cover page. I'll have to put it this way so I can see. My, my front cover my back cover and this will be folded like that so the sizes if you want to jot this down is 12 and a half inches by 8 inches and you need two of them And then you mark the center and then make a mark half inch either side of the center because this is where you're going to sew to create a spine. And this is the spine which is a piece of cardboard with some felt glued on and this is three quarter of inch three quarters of an inch by seven and a half so that will go inside once you've sewn just to give the the spine a little bit of um, firmness not too much because it's only like um, cereal box stuff okay so that's the front the cover so mark your um, half inch either side of your center marking that's your first page and your last page. Now my second insert is going to go like this into the cover and this is how it will open. These images I, I embroidered 
these teddy bears. These are my own design, these the teddy bears. Um, if, you, if you're going to do this and, and do the embroidery, I can provide a PDF file. Just request it in the um, in the messages section. Okay, so this is cut at 12 by 8, which you will notice is slightly smaller than that. That gives us about a quarter of an inch either side of the of the book cover, a little bit longer than the inside pages. Okay, so you mark the center of this, which is six inches in, and then the side markings are okay. What's three three quarters of an inch divided in half? Three eighths, three eighths by three eighths. So. Your spine here should be three quarters of an inch, so I'll let you work that out yourselves. I think it's three eighths of an inch and three eighths of an inch, yep, either side of the, the center, and that's how that will be folded across that line. And that one will go in there. Okay, and the next page, which will have pockets or um, teddy bears on them. This one again is 12 inches by 8 inches and you mark the center half inch so once you've marked the center it's a quarter inch either side for your stitching lines. And the next insert is again 12 by 8 and you've got two pieces of each of these and you mark your center at an eighth of an inch and do an eighth of an inch on either side so you've got a quarter inch spine on that one and the last page is also embroidered with my own teddy bears um, this one 12 again by 8, mark your center and that is your stitch line straight on the center. So this one will go that way. So we'll have embroidery well you could put it if you wanted another embroidery that way you could put it that way. In fact that's a, the way I think I've got it marked. So I've got my points there. Okay, so that is that. Now we've got some felt padding. It's just the the um, felt pieces. I've cut them to five and three quarter inches by seven and a half inches, and these will be going between pages before you sew and that gives your page some um, some thickness so use white felt or if you're if you're using um, non-white fabric use something that will go with it so the first thing you want to do is decide where you're going to put your teddy bear pockets and where you're going to put simply sew on a teddy bear because you'll have to sew you can you can glue them if you don't want to sew them that that is absolutely fine but I'm going to sew mine so I will separate this this one piece 
and I will sew that probably with a zig, uh, zigzag stitch and on the opposite side I will probably put a pocket so to do the pocket place your teddy bear picture right sides facing with your with your white fabric and so all around but leave um, a little space maybe at the bottom for turning out once you've done that you lay the pocket in and you will stitch it down actually put my pocket lower or I would cut it a bit smaller because that is rather large for a pocket. That one for instance, if I use that one I could cut that one there across that way just to make it a bit smaller so that we've got this room in there to, to pop something a little song to pop that in there okay so yeah the first thing I'm going to do is make my pockets I'm going to sew them make my pockets then I'm going to sew a teddy bear picture to some of the blank the blank uh, fabrics okay and I've got um, I've got some pretty organza um, ribbon I've made a couple of little flowers with that um, I've got some more flowers. I've got lots of lace and bits and pieces. I've got an extra little teddy bear button that I've found. There's a teddy bear, yes. And some bling, some beads, bits and pieces of lace and some more flowers. So I'm going to decorate it quite well too. So I'm going to stop my video here and then get all this sewn up and then I'll be back and show you what I've done. Unfortunately with, with this program I use for filming I can't um, I can't pause so mm. So this has to be part one. Come back for part two and I'll show you how, how we go from there.